Yorana, and welcome to FM Tahiti. It's the start of the new season. Um, the last episode was me sort of going through the squad, working out who I was going to get rid of. Um, played a few friendlies, and now we've got the Super Cup. So because we won the Inter-Island Cup last season, we get to take on Huheen Islanders, um, who won the Premiership in the Super Cup. And we'd have a very good record against them. I don't think we've actually ever beat them. At least not in the last five meetings, anyway. So we've got that, and then we might play, or we might not play, depending on how long the Super Cup goes on for, um, our opening home game against AS Chance, newly promoted AS Chance. Uh, but we shall see how that goes. Just a quick recap. Finance is terrible. Uh, under our wage budget. Lots of available jobs, though we're not going to go to any of these. Um, in a transfer market, there were a few players I mentioned that I really wanted, I think, in the last episode, some uh, midfielders. Um, one of them I got to speak to, and they wanted a huge amount of money, so I tried to bargain them down, and then they just stopped talking to me. And then they left the club, I think it was uh, De Freitas, left the club, so he was on a free, tried to talk to him again, but talked to me at all, doesn't think we're good enough uh, anymore. So, yeah, kind of messed that one up. Um, in terms of general transfers, got a lot of youth players or backups who've gone out. I think I may have messed up with these three. So they've gone to real teams. Um, I say real teams. They've gone to teams outside of our French Polynesian kind of save. So they won't actually get much in the way of football, which I didn't really think about. But it might improve their rep a little bit. It keeps them in the game. They were never going to be first teamers for us. Um, it just would have been slightly better to send them to a real, real active team for us, I should say. Scott Jones has gone to Motu 1 because we've got plenty of keepers. Darren Lee has gone on a free to Moria, which gets him off the wage. Um, he never really did much for us. And we never really gave him the opportunity, though, to be, to be fair. He did do quite well for the under 23s. He's got potential, but he wasn't doing it for us. So at least he can go there, not do it for them, but also still be kind of active. Salaberry has gone on loan um, because we want to try someone else instead, but we couldn't quite get rid of him to Papita. Cameron Clark, who is potentially promising attack midfield, has gone off to uh, Nukahiva Spearheads. Aram's on loan to Feral Cats, who I think they got promoted, so that'll be um, Premiership football for him, potentially. Morris has gone off to Hiva Oa, and Cameron Bell to Nora Ruta. We brought in Ronald Haas, who's that player who I s signed ages ago and then realised wouldn't arrive. And then when he arrived, basically the coach was like, he's terrible. Why have we done this? No one liked him. So he's a little bit terrible. Um, then we tried Mata Tua from the Hang of Vines. I could only see a few of his attributes and I thought he could be good. And then he arrived and it turns out he cannot be good. He is pretty bad. That was a bad signing. Better signings, Johan Andre that we got from AS Chance. So the newly promoted side. Look at his mental attributes. He'll be good. But he isn't that defensive midfielder I wanted. So basically I failed to uh, achieve what I wanted with my targets. And that's that's about it for what happened. I just was desperately trying to get those attacking midfielders, uh, not attacking midfielders, defensive midfielders, and it just didn't, didn't work. Um, again, again I failed to recruit. But we're going to move on to the Super Cup instead. So it's us against the Huaheen Eels, the Islanders. Uh, we apparently have beaten them once. So it's the very first time we ever played them, we beat them, and then since then it's all been them or a draw. Um, they are strong. To be honest, they are a strong team. So as is my tradition, at the start of the season, we pick from scratch again, which also makes it helpful because actually we've got quite a few players off on international duty because it's the Atoll Championship uh, as well. So in goal... Got to go for Ahmed Smith. For some reason, he's not been called up to the national side. We can't call up McIntyre, but we can put Twig in there. We gave a few starts to him last season. So he's our backup right back. On the left, Lamb is not available because he's playing internationally, so Mark Burgess will have to come in again. He had a few starts last season. We're going to have Bolt. And we're going to have... Glenn Pallanthorpe. So he looks like he could be decent. On the right, uh, we could have picked Manuel, uh, but he's injured. 
Um, he's wanted on loan by the rapid feral cats and I accidentally accepted and then had to reject, so I may have upset him a little bit. I will start with weight instead. On the left, we have. Um, well, he's suspended, so we can't have him, so we're going to have Bill Douglas instead, but we could have Paul Manuel at some point, so he'll come on, do a bit of a job. Ball winning midfielder. It's going to be Weaver. More likely than not. He doesn't appear there because he's not actually a midfielder. And then we will have. Because Spearling and Aaron Donner are on international, we'll give Johan Andre his start. Up front, target man's going to be Gerard. And then his partner. It's going to be Wallace. Let's swap them around, actually. There we go. So Wallace is unfit and tired. Gerard, for some reason, has not been called up to the international team, which is fine with me. Uh, let's look at this one. So we'll bring on Weaver there. Bothwell will be our backup keeper. We've got Higgins, Tuchin, and Manuel to cover the midfield. And then we've got nothing else really to delve into the under 23s, at least briefly. Wilkinson will have to call up for the moment. Let's see if there's anyone in the terms of the midfield. Jesse Thomas is away on the. Oh, he's on trial currently. I don't know why I let him do that. Um, let's bring a pass. Shroud. Yes. Nursig and Server can come up for the moment. They'll go back down once everyone's back. Yeah, the fact I'm messing around doing this means we probably won't go for the uh, double double match episode. Up him. There he is. One more space. So there we go. Hopefully, they're weakened as well. I imagine probably not by much. Shall see. It'd be good to win the Super Cup, but it is just the charity shield, so there's no big, no biggie if we don't. Their team looks pretty strong. I don't think they've lost, lost many. Yeah, nothing to lose here. They have been just battering us every time we played them. Little choice. Yeah, that's great. He's gone. Don't know who he is. And off he goes. We're playing at home again. Um, we've been getting really good luck in the uh, cup draws. See how we do with our slightly younger team. They've got Wolf, who they signed, I think, from Pepita, is really good. Got Tissa, who's good. We've got Douglas. Who needs them when you've got Douglas and Gerard? Goes to Wallace. Oh, blocked. Good sliding tackle. That's a promising move. Move the ball quickly up the pitch. Charles Reap would be proud. The keeper took that quite well. Halligan is the most expensive goalkeeper and player in the league still, unless I might check the transfers after this to see if anyone's being bought for more than him. But last season, the Eels bought him with their uh, Club World Championship money, I think. No Club World Championship money for Moria. Uh, they got to the final and got knocked out. They got now. They lost. They lost the final, so they don't get to go to the Club World Championship, even though they got to the final of the OCL. Douglas couldn't get it in to Weaver. Andre, the new guy. Palanthorp goes long. Jared's there. Again. Predatory instinct there. We started brighter than they have. It's a long game. Close him down. I'm not convinced about us defensively, but we'll just attack. Go all out attack. The season. 
Wait, couldn't get it in. I think the main thing for us this season is, first of all, not to start as badly as we did last time round. It was a good shot, but... I feel like the keeper should have done better, but he was pretty stretched. Tissa, who's real. Tatao. Regnia. Yeah, I mean, he looked like he was going to stop it. I think that's the disappointing thing. Not that it wasn't a good shot, just that he looked like he might stop it. He's alright, isn't he? Wolf's pretty good too. They've got some good players. Yeah, just, even though we might lose this Super Cup now, I don't want us to start badly. I want us to be able to try and get into the RCL. I'd rather start well and get in the RCL than start badly and finish well. Wallace, there we go, back across the face of goal. In it goes. Jordan Wallace doing it again. The wag. Or the gore. Mainly the wag. Not quite the SAS, but they'll do it for us. Nicely done. Back in it. I'm really liking the new match engine. I've not actually had much opportunity to play since it's come out. I've only played maybe the last couple of games of last season and then, and then this one. It has been good so far. No, there's the general whining on the forums, but there's always whining on the forums. Do you generally feel like they're playing more long ball in the way I want them to play it? Oh, well, this isn't very... I think I might have to bring him off. Just because we've got a few games with these players away, I think we'd probably end up two or three league games into the season before everyone returns. So I need to manage the striking options because we just basically don't have any. I'll do that for this this side. Oh, one more goal will be favourites. A new midfielder Andre has been a bit quiet, but then it's been quite a quiet match generally. When we have attacked, we've attacked down the wings. So we've not seen as much of him. I seem to have pushed a player off his chance every year, though, apart from the very first season. Don't want to raid them too much. They are quite a strong team. Partly because they've got that academy set up, that's really good. Um, clearly they've been managed well because they've got back-to-back -back promotions and are all the way up to the Premiership. Oh, what a free kick. He does have a really good free kick taking start. I think it's like 13 to 15 or something like that. Uh, wisely, they celebrated far, far away from our fans. Again, Smith looked like he was in the right place. Like he was positioned well. I just have to put that down to the um, the animations. No, he dived. That's not. I mean, I say he dived. The, there was that thing saying there were suggestions they may have dived. Just get him right up there so we can get some kind of ball to him. Some wingers on for some fresh legs. Kind of all out. I have to rely on the wings more now, so... I think that's the first time Gerard's ever been sent off. Yeah, exactly, referee. Exactly. I don't often remember Jared getting a yellow card. I mean, he's probably got tons. If I look back at the videos, he's probably got a ton of yellow cards, but... I nice try to chin. No. System manager says Twig should ease off tackles. No. Nobody eases off tackles. That's not how we play. 
and yeah, kind of make us more attacking. Forward, I guess. Andre's fired up. Go on, Andre. Hmm. Bit of a lackluster match, really. Don't feel like they were that much better than us. The red card kind of killed it. Oh, go on, Wilkinson. Oh, come on. I mean was a really good tackle. It really was about referee contact. <laughs> now they break. He looks like a beast as well. He's a big, big player. Just get it. Oh, Andres just raged out. Had enough. Oh, for a second he'd scored that again. Can't get it forwards. Oh. Ooh, maybe there's something on. No, not with, not with balls like that, teaching. Seriously. Fairly anonymous game then, by pretty much everyone. I think Palanthorpe did alright. I remember seeing him and not seeing him do bad, bad stuff. Twig did alright. Teach and why. I mean, just venting his frustrations at that point actually, so I'm okay with that. And there we go. We are now runners up at the Super Cup as well. We have runners up at most cups now. Maybe this is the pattern though. We'll run us up this year, we'll win it next year. That's that's how that's gonna go. Uh so thanks very much for that. I think I'll probably will come back for the ace chance match. I'll come back in a second just for that one. Okay, so we're back against AS Chance, newly promoted side who have the kind of really good youth facilities in the academy, so they're the kind of dice thrower, hence AS Chance. For the kind of Tahitian FA, so they're their academy team almost. And they're restricted in um, the age range of the players, I think it's either 21 or 23, where they cannot. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, so it's that kind of age range where they're in where they cannot actually. Um, once they've hit that 21, 23, they can't play for the, the side anymore, so they get moved on. So it should mean they produce, play, and then move on various players. So this isn't very good, is it? Ineligible, ineligible as are these ones, because my own stupidity, I should have taken them out of the youth team completely. And then Gerard is suspended because of that dubious um, situation in the last match. So, another defender. Ersic's gonna get a go. Need another midfielder. Gonna have to be Hass. These two are gonna have to go as well. And there's a striker. Wilkinson. No one else really to bring in. Not fit enough for me to want to risk anyway. Might as well just not play them. Let's see how it goes. Imagine badly. So yeah, Ace Chance newly promoted team. There'll be a youth team, a young team by kind of default. They played really well in the past few seasons. They just shot straight up into the Premiership. So I think we're gonna we may suffer in this match because we're really weakened. Okay, they look really good doing that. Go on, Weaver. Again, yeah, Weaver's getting to this point in the season where I want to replace him, or at least have him challenge, but I can't sign anyone to do it. Get that forward. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, Haas. I mean, he looks massive for a 17 year old. Wilkinson. Oh, that was a really good move. And Haas, that everyone was hating on when he arrived. I say everyone. Coaches and the fans. Just stole that ball. Look at that. It's an assault. He is far too big. Let me check just how big and heavy he is um, after this match. But I would adventure too big, too tall. Not for our team though. We kind of like height and strength, shall we say? It's not a bad, a bad start there. Don't know what that was from our winger. Twig getting it forward. So that's how the target man role works. So sometimes Wallace picks those up, sometimes he doesn't. But okay, it's a bit playground-ish. One of them could have done that chasing. They look really good on the ball. They pass it around really well. Good block. I think it needed the block. Wallace giving it for Wilkinson to run on to. Tackle. So there's a loan offer that's coming for Wilkinson from... I want to say the Hanger Vines or something like that. And what I might do is accept it and then delay it so he can still play for us for a few more games and then when the other players are back, off he goes. So it would be good for him to get that kind of senior football. Oh, good save. It would be good for him to get a senior football. I mean, technically, the under-23s are playing in the developmental league, so they are getting that football. If you went to somewhere like the Hangar Vines, you'd be playing against the same teams. Um, it's the same level, essentially. But I'd rather he was helping out another full team rather than our under-23s. Makes no difference to us where our under-23s finish, to be honest. That said... One of the most reputable teams in um, French Polynesia, the Eels under 23s, because they've won the Youth Cup and won a couple of youth titles. So they're actually more reputable than some full teams. It's probably helped that their senior team's the most reputable team as well. Go on, Wilkinson down that channel. Come on, Wallace. Almost. Off it goes. The throw, uh, for the corner. I really need to fix the set pieces as well. Well, definitely if they're going to do that, but. <laughs> I think we really need another goal. Because I think they've definitely got a goal in them. So their play is pretty good. So, Jordan, I was interested in, but obviously going to strikers, don't really need him. Roger, also interested in, but wasn't interested in coming to us. Can't stop him, get it. Hersig, done a... Oh, it was Hersig who just gave that weird. I was literally about to say Hersig's done really well. Come on, Ahmed. Oh, what a save. I mean, that is really unfortunate. Oh, I feel bad for him. I feel bad for Ahmed. Because look at that. I mean, I have no idea why he palmed it back across onto that post. But in the future, that will be... We will have to worry about um, rebounds. Apparently there's some rule changes coming up. He won't be able to uh, follow up a missed penalty or a save penalty. Our penalty. Even it up. That one looked pretty soft in comparison. I did, I did say we need two. There we go. We don't need to see that one again, do we? <coughs> Sorry. There we go, back into the lead. Increasingly thinking one goal is not going to be enough. Yeah, 
keep it going. Wilkinson's knackered as his Weaver. Stroud can come off a Weaver for his debut. I just quickly check what the um, attendance is. Attendance is 642. Um, which obviously is much better than our um, attendances last season, which were about 410. The Super Cup that we played at home just before this had a record breaking attendance at 1,200 and something. We had gate receipts of seven grand. Big money. Beforehand, our biggest gate receipt. Oh, come on. He didn't mean to. Oh, I feel bad for him. His debut, the massive 17 year old's debut. Okay. Do that instead for the moment. There's not much else I could do. That's going to be a full half of suffering. We could easily get back into this. Yeah, so before the referee decided to ruin things for us, um, got that record attendance 1,200. Oh, good ball. Oh, good shot as well. That would have been amazing. Uh, so we got 7k. Let's come back out. The highest we had before that was 4k for the quarterfinals of the OCL. So I was kind of hoping we'd get really good attendances for this match as well and it wasn't just the cup final thing we might start making money rather than losing it but I don't think so like 640 is good it's better than we had before it's better than a lot of teams but I don't think it's enough to kind of address the massive financial hole we have hold it together So he doesn't look great, but he played alright, 6 foot 4, 13 stone, yeah, that's, he's a big lad. What was that? Okay. Right. Let's see. Okay. Just pick us more and more compact. We could well lose this one now. Could save that. They are just peppering us with shots. Oh, since they have the man advantage, we should tighten up. They've got more than a man advantage. See, I think Haas was unfortunate, you know, with his, his handball, apparently. Burgess, that was vicious. Under other circumstances, I might be proud of what he did. Just clear it. Nice idea, but Wilkinson is knackered. What's this? Is this going to be in... Seriously? What? At what point do we just stop the match? When does this... Like, I don't know... I can't get much more compact than this. Um, it really doesn't matter. I don't think he's going to score anything at any point. Um, okay. Three reds. I have a feeling I might get fined after this. There's only two... Well, no, four yellow cards, I guess. The referee hates us. Uh, 
Maybe it's just something about playing Ace Chance. Maybe we hate them. Maybe there's something going on that just means our team hates younger players from elsewhere. I've got long to hold on. Why am I attacking still? Oh, look at that. There are so many players there. They look exhausted and we should think about subbing one of them. How? Who? Yeah, there we go. Bring on young Paul Manuel, on the left. Okay, four minutes to hold on. At least four minutes to hold on. Yeah. Brave run. <laughs> Interesting shots. I could turn up um, time wasting, but I just can't. Can't bring myself to do it. That's 640 people witness an absolute battle. What about that referee? Oh, is that fine? Oof, that was a good shot. Who is the referee? It's on match information. A Jax. Do they have any players called Jax? I do it. Let it run. Take your time over this one. That was a terrific match. It was also part like wrestling boxing match by the end of it. Kickboxing. Do you have any jacks? Clyde Jacks. There we go. 17 year old Clyde Jacks. Probably the son of the um, referee. I think that's what it was. Okay. There we go. Um, should we just see if we get a fine? It's a good win because that, that's fine. That'll do. And. Banned. Banned. No. Televega wouldn't send a team out to hurt the opposition. Wouldn't be so sure. Right, we'll end there. Thanks very much for surviving that match. So this is going to be a massive episode. I'm, I'm sorry, but we need to get through these episodes and get to this. Uh, thanks very much. See you for the next one.